Okay, so now I'm home. Anyway, so let me give you a brief explainer since my YouTube short isn't, you know, easily understandable. <coughs> so, on Christmas, um, my brother bought me a capture card. Like, okay, at least I can actually do live streams on YouTube or Twitch now. But, here's the catch. He also bought me this thing. This is a Type-C to HDMI cable. And you might be thinking, hmm, that's even good because when you plug the capture card onto, uh, if you plug this onto your capture card and then plug that into your switch, it can actually this way, right? No. And I'll prove it to you. So it's already been plugged, it's already been set up. And just to be clear, in case if you don't believe that it's actually been set up, so I have video capture device here, and then it reads as USB-C video. So that's the thing. That's uh, it actually detects. It already detects it. So if I plug this into my Nintendo Switch, yeah, you see the problem. Also, I don't know why um, the video show, I mean, like the like the camera shows flickering. It's not flickering. It's not, it's not flickering. Like, for real, it's not flickering. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, you see? You see the problem? It's not displaying. Now, what's actually going on is, is that when I searched uh, about this, turns out, the uh, you cannot actually you know uh, you cannot actually display the Nintendo Switch screen if you only have this thing without a power source also known as the charger right over here I am so shitty with my shit I don't know what I'm doing but basically when I plug oh my god <sighs> when I plug my switch Onto my, I mean, my charger onto the switch. Of course, it gives you like you know console battery percentage and so on. Now, uh, be that's because that's the source. Now, from what I search on Google, they explain to me that there is no power source. There is no power source when you just do that. You can actually see this right here on the subreddit. They uh, someone already mentioned it six years ago, so Short answer multiple people have tried and it doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't this will work So the switch needs external power to go into TV mode and not every adapter will work Given the protocol the switch used to transmit data through HDMI. So in short having this plus this Doesn't actually you know feed the switch's power It doesn't do anything However, my brother, my other brother, have another backup plan. This is a high-tech, you know, 4K UHD, you know, dongle. That allows you to just, you know, plug this onto your Switch and plug the HDMI cable onto the capture card. And then it will actually display properly. It's easy. Now, the only problem is that the HDMI cable is goddamn long. Oh my god, I can't. And also, mm, what am I gonna do? <laughs> what am I gonna do with it? Oh, what if I can actually double big brain idea right here? Uh, I never thought of it. I just thought of it just now. So what if I plug this? This will be the power source. I hope, I hope this works. If it doesn't work, then yeah, let me give it a try. Yeah, it's not lighting up. So, in short, it doesn't work. Damn it, I was hoping that it could work. So, it needs to be plugged, uh, like, HDMI to HDMI, hey? <sighs> Alright, so, admit defeat, yes. Long story short, uh, my brother, my eldest brother, bought me the wrong Christmas gift. 
and my other brother did actually got me not a Christmas gift but just a you know gift that he bought for us to you know to play just dance because really and this is by far you know way superior than the other one so yeah all right so I don't know what to do with this by the way I mean I could sell it but however I don't think anyone would want to buy a type C to H to my cable uh, yeah anyways I think that's pretty much it for this you know for this short you know, short coming video uh, thank you all for watching that's pretty much the explanation of my YouTube shorts I can't do live stream uh, properly using my new capture card so for now, I can actually do that on SysDBR, which is, you know, requiring a modded switch. And yeah, that's perfectly fine actually, but however, it's it quickly is run dry, like the battery, if I actually keep using SysDBR, because the power of the laptop isn't that powerful. And then, I don't know how to set up, you know, uh, wirelessly uh, SysDBR. I tried to learn, but however, I, every time I try it, it doesn't even work. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. Oh yeah, and another thing uh, about the you know, SysDVR uh, wireless, uh, my internet shit. So it keeps on you know crash. Uh, it keeps on not actually booting up, not showing this display or something. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.